So, a uh, quick guide how to fill the system of the ICP40. Uh, just few steps, so nothing, uh, uh, nothing uh, uh, special, hard to do. So, we have the uh, one-way valve. We have the cap of the one-way valve. We have the uh, bulb valve, and we have the um, manual pump, which uh, which is intended to fit the system. At the end of the manual pump, we have nipple, uh, and uh, and this is uh, what we need to connect that to the uh, to the one-way valve. So I'm unscrewing that cap here, just putting it aside, uh, and that connection is not fully uh, sealed and it's completely fine because either way. Uh, the valve, uh, the valve allows fluid to go in, but it doesn't allow it to go, go, to go out. So it's completely okay. So we are connecting nipple here. We are adding the connecting it to the hose. There is a gasket here internally. If you will, there will be any dripping, any flow, that's just fine. It's, it's not an issue. Now. You must remember to open that valve to fill the system. I, you can actually uh, first uh, try to pressurize the loop into the direction of the enclosure, or you can just uh, open that one and just fill the system. That's it. So uh, what you need to do, and this, this is where we need to focus for, for a moment here, that's the manual pump. It has a one millimeter and two valves. A valve number two, and it has handle and Simple as that. And uh, it has a uh, valve number one and valve number two. So we need to uh, close the valve number two, which which we do, uh, which we open counterclockwise and we close it clockwise, right? And we need to open valve number one. It is currently, this is currently, uh, it was currently open. So just for the uh, sake of the demonstration, I will just open it fully. It's good choice is to just leave it uh, just a little bit open, so we know in which direction that that, uh, that that goes. So I can feel that that is completely open, and yeah, and that's it. Now I will not feeling that right now because just that's just a quick demonstration. But let's let's imagine it is connected. So. If I will have my valve number two closed, the valve number one uh, open, and I have manometer here, which uh, and you need to make sure you are resetting that uh, red uh, arrow because it shows mm, a momentary pressure or temporary pressure in the uh, in the system, and it stays like like that one. So if you disconnect or do any changes, change any pressure, then you just need to reset it manually, and that's fine. So we are you know moving the handle and just. Pressurizing the system, adding system to the adding water to the uh, to the system, it will take approximately uh, 20 liters inside of the uh, actually less uh, 20 liters inside of the uh, drag cooler and approximately it may be 20 liters between the drag cooler and your enclosure, and well, simple as that. After the the filling, you can unscrew that, add the cap again, and uh, that's it. The only thing which is uh, currently which needs more work from your side. It's, uh, it's removing the air from the system. At the bottom here, and you need to, to, to show it, to see it correctly here, there is a there is a air vent inside of here. It's manual. So you need to unscrew, unscrew open it counterclockwise, and you need to, if, just for a moment. So if you are filling the system, you pressurize the, the loop, you can see that on the manometer you have five bar or six bar, and then you are just opening that just for a moment, like st removing the uh, the air and just closing it. And the water may may drip from it. It that's just fine. Just open it for a moment, then then just close it. Unfortunately, that um, that uh, um, manual action must be done multiple times uh, during the feeding feeding because you will be releasing the air from all those small pockets here and you can do it that also just shaking that uh, drag cooler. You can just shake it a little bit. You can just lift it. Just making sure that you're removing part of that uh, 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 of that air from the system from both sides. You can just shake it, wiggle it a little, a little and then you will be able to uh, to remove all the pockets. 
after filling the system uh, completely, you'll be able to, to you will be able to start the pump, and that's not a big deal. Also, to start the pump, you can just you just connect that with the with the electric connection here, uh, and you will be uh, starting the pump in the way that you're uh, um, starting the breaker or putting the breaker P up, and you should be able to hear the pump which is uh, right now transporting the air so you can hear that it's it's air and uh, actually when you are feeling the system you don't need to start the fans you can do it obviously just starting the breaker w the pumps are starting but you don't need to, need to do that because when you are starting the system it's good to hear what's happening here you will hear the uneven uh, work of the um, pump motor or you will hear the bubbles traveling through the, through the system, it's very easy to hear and then it will be after you circulate the fluid through the uh, drag cooler and through the enclosure on the other side you will be again <laughs> releasing lots of air so then you will have to perform uh, once again few times uh, the removal of that air so basically using that, that air vent here at the, at the top and that process it will take some time just to release that air and then going uh, again visiting that drag cooler and again <laughs> removing that, that, that air so that's time consuming we will replace soon with the automatic uh, air vent here and uh, and that would be uh, more easy to, to start for now just uh, make sure you're removing that air after you fill the system then after you started the pump and then after you started, started the operation so basically uh, when you heated the system when you have uh, 40 degrees celsius hot uh, fluid or 104 Fahrenheit uh, fl fluid hot inside. Then again, you will be you will require to uh, remove that uh, that air from the system. But after that, let's say first moments, first hours, uh, it should be uh, non-time consuming. It should work uh, just like like that without any uh, hassle. Uh, the final thing, which we, what you need to remember um, when you will be starting the the, the, the system. Make sure that when you uh, started the pump, the pump is circulating, you hear that the pump is working just fine, the, uh, the, the pump works, you can hear that the sound is, is fine, you don't hear the bubbles traveling through the system, everything is okay. Uh, then uh, you, um, the pump should not work when it's not, not uh, filled with uh, water, so it's dry right now. So if you are starting that, that system and it's, everything is fine, then you can start the fans. The fans are, uh, will work. And to maximize the efficiency of the system, you should close that compartment. You should keep that compartment closed at any time because uh, you need to suck the air through the fin coils. Uh, and if you leave that open, then it will suck the air through that opening and degrade the performance of the, of the system. Simple as that. So yeah, that would be all in regards to the starting or fitting the loop. Thank you.